life and present you with uh, <laughs> that was, that was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Darren Lynn Bowsman. Which of the cast, the non-musical members, the actors most surprised you? Because for me, Mark Center was mm. a bit of a revelation. Cause yeah. He's I'm such a, an intense actor. I have a man crush on Mark Center, which I've talked about <laughs> numerous times. Um, I'm sure the fans are lighting up yeah. right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're going crazy. Uh, no, but um, I, uh, I, I had a lot of his movies, and um, I kept trying to put him in things. I tried to put him in Mother's Day, and it didn't work out. And I was like, I promise I'm going to put you in something. And then you have that weird thing that you, you, you've built it up in your head so much, and I've talked about it for so much. And uh, what happens if he can't sing? Like, what right. if he can't mm -hmm. sing? And so we got him in there, and it was awesome. Like, it, it my man crush grew. Yeah, it's like Grease. That part's like Grease. Yeah, like no, him playing Scorpion's great. He's what was awesome. A uh, little little factoid. So because he's not a singer, he was actually uncomfortable, at least mm. initially, in the same way that the the musicians who play for these giant crowds and giant arenas were nervous about acting because it's not mm. what they do right. every day. And uh, we brought him in, and of course the pressure's on. Like, this is kind of your audition. Nick, Kill it, and kill it as a character who has to, who has to exude confidence when you, maybe you're not feeling 100% confident. So he was in the, uh, the recording booth laying down kind of his audition for us. And, uh, and Laura, Darren's wife, was outside swooning over him. So we actually made him, her go into the booth with him. And we're like, sing it to Laura. Ah. And then suddenly it came alive. Uh, Darren had to leave, of course, and, and go in the car and, and get the revolver. And still, and, still, and, still this, and still to this day, Laura calls his name out uh, in, the, in the sex. As do you, right? I you do. both are calling out Mark's <laughs> name. It's like, uh, Mark, Mark. So your first scary movie that you remember seeing? Terror Train. Uh, the Exorcist. Uh, that's a really All scary. right, and what do you fear? My phone Again, calls. Pride, pride goeth before the fall. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I fear not being able to finish whatever I've started. So my work, my art in particular, um, the molting creates a lot of anxiety for me because I know <laughs> it's a 12-issue thing that I've set up to do. Like and I've, I have, yeah, I've, well, the roaches are part of it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I have fears that my roach hand, my drawing hand, might get lopped up before it's over. And I don't know if I have time to learn how to draw with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> and Darren? Um, Abandonment and mm. being alone. I yeah. think that um, there's that great Twilight Zone episode where the guy wants to he just wants time to read the book. I and love then, uh, that one. That yeah, is one of my faves. But that's I think that's that's probably what it is. It's it's waking up one day and being completely by myself. You'll always have the fan base, so that's something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this They're one we'll be doing our paperwork very yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> this one I, I wrote just for you guys today. Uh, the film you watched the most on VHS. Jesus. VHS. But, so think back. Which one did you burn through? La Bamba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rage of the Lost Ark. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. You were come up with when I said La Bamba? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your musical arts yeah, 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 yeah. it all ties together. Yeah.